It's five past nine at Westmere Primary School in central Auckland. The year six kids are outside exercising, but room seven is late, and it's our fault. Before they left their class, we asked all the kids to put their lunch boxes on their desks. We also asked them to indicate with a tick those that had eaten breakfast. None of the kids had any idea we were coming. Look at these lunch boxes. The Heart Foundation would be proud. There's a mix of simple, artistic and elaborate but almost all are healthy and nutritious. This smoked salmon and cream cheese bagel wouldn't be out of place in one of the local cafes. So of the 24 students in the class, 23 had breakfast this morning. When it comes to lunch, all 24 had a packed lunch. Two kids were also going to buy something. And when it comes to fruit, all but two had at least one piece of fruit, eight had three pieces of fruit or more. 20 minutes away is Sir Edmund Hillary Collegiate. Like Westmere School, we asked one unsuspecting Year 6 class to show us their lunches. Here they are. The picture couldn't be more different or heartbreaking. For every empty desk, there's a kid who won't be eating morning tea, who will have nothing for lunch. And don't be fooled by the chairs, they're all taken. If there isn't a bag, it's because the student doesn't have one. Six ten-year-old Kiwi kids sit at this table. Only two have lunch. And what a lunch it'll be. Imagine this throw at two in the afternoon. All four kids keenly doing their maths and spelling, hungry to learn? Yeah, right. So 25,000 kids in New Zealand go to school every day without food. Now it's a huge problem and we decided to do something about it. Eat My Lunch is a buy one, give one model where for every lunch someone buys, we give a lunch to a Kiwi kid in need. In just over three years, we've given a million lunches to kids around New Zealand. We've been able to scale quickly, um, and the impact that we're seeing is beyond just filling hungry tummies. You can see here that the impact is um, on improved attendance at school, their behaviour, teaching them healthy eating habits as well. And Eat My Lunch has been able to scale quickly because of our model. We are a for-profit company. So we make money because we want to be self-sustaining and in control of our own cash flow, rather than relying on handouts and donations. But we are a company that actually has a, social, a clear social mission at the heart of everything that we do. We want to ensure that no child goes to school hungry. And everything we do is driven by this purpose. And it's because of this purpose we've been able to do things that normal businesses can't do, such as have over 16,000 people come and volunteer to make lunches for the kids. I think for too long it's been viewed that if you make money, you can't genuinely do good at the same time. And Eat My Lunch has shown that actually you can do both. And if anything, commercially driven enterprises are better placed because of their resources and scale to make significant social impact. Having a social purpose is no longer this emerging trend, but I believe it's a requirement for every business. And what we're seeing is that you know, this is what consumers are demanding, it's what employees are demanding from all the businesses they work for. The challenge for business is not to use their social cause just as a marketing tool but to actually have a genuine social purpose that drives everything they do and defines who they are. There are over 500,000 businesses in New Zealand. Now, if you imagine that every one of them had a social purpose built into the core of their business model, that would be truly 
changing for this country. So, thanks.